from family events to volunteer opportunities to community happenings, there is a lot going on in your community. Learn about all the possibilities and opportunities on this episode of Community Hotline. Hi, and welcome to Community Hotline. My name is Monica Weitzel. We're here at Metro East Community Media in Gresham, Oregon. We've been on hiatus for a little while for election coverage, and we're really happy to be back tonight. Tonight we have a special show. We're going to feature a couple of local theater groups. The first one is the Curious Comedy Theater from Portland. They're located on Northeast MLK, not far from where I live, and it's on my to-do list to get there and see one of your shows before the end of, this, uh, end of the year. So tonight to represent the Curious Comedy Theater, we have Greg Shossi, who is the food and beverage director and a performer at uh, Curious Comedy Theater. Welcome, Greg. Thanks. And also Jed Arkley, who's the associate artistic director. All right, thank Good you. Good to have you here. Yeah, glad to be here. Good. Um, maybe one of you can tell me to start out a little bit about the Curious Comedy Theater. I understand it is a nonprofit organization. Mm -hmm. What, what is the mission? What's the purpose of, um, you know, obviously it's not a, a for-profit theater, so why did this come about? Uh, yeah, we're the only nonprofit dedicated strictly to the art of comedy. Uh, our founder, Stacy Halal, decided we want a place that will not just entertain, but improve the lives of kids, adults, and seniors. Through comedy. Through comedy. Through comedy. I love it. Yeah. And, and what, what better thing? I mean, obviously, when people laugh, it makes you feel better. Yeah. So yeah. How, how do you go about doing that? Is it just through performances or, or what else is going on at the theater? Well, at, at a regular show, uh, we like to integrate performance and make something tasty that's cheap. Uh, make something tasty that's cheap? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Explain that to me, Greg. Uh, everything we do, we, we try to do with love and we try to make it accessible for everybody. Okay. Uh, I've been to so many comedy clubs around the country that it kind of feels like you're getting robbed. Uh, okay, <laughs> you know? okay. And the prices are very reasonable. And we can't yeah. say yeah. prices on the air sure. here, but, but I know from looking at it, they're very, very reasonable. They're very, yeah. They are accessible. And that's they? part of like, yeah, our mission is that like, to, to create a space, not only the physical space where we're at, that it's, it's warm and inviting to not only the comedians uh, and the other performers, but to the audience as well. So it doesn't feel like it's an intimidating place to walk into. I mean, and that sort of fits into our mission of, you know, providing, improving people's lives through comedy is not making it feel like, you know, your standard comedy club, which sometimes has a bad rap. But, right. Um, right. but we do have, but that's, you know, we, we go out to, you know, we'll talk about the various programs maybe later, but we go out to middle schools to help kids um, with literacy by they'll be writing stories and then we'll perform the stories we've gone to um, done improv with Alzheimer's patients uh, so at great. a couple um, like long-term care homes and uh, and then besides that then we're just teaching improv all the time you know anyone can come in and drop in and, That's great. and take classes so, so it's not just yeah. performance by any means yeah. we have a short video that you brought mm -hmm. that I think would be a good time for us to take a look at yeah. that now it might give us kind of an overview of the club so I think we should Take a look now. All right. All right. Welcome to the Curious Comedy Theater, Portland's only 501c3 nonprofit theater devoted entirely to the art of comedy. Curious Comedy's mission is to improve the lives of kids, adults, and seniors through the art of comedy. We have shows every weekend at our home theater. These shows rotate between improv, sketch, stand-up, kids shows, and more, pushing the boundaries of comedy with bold, original programming and primarily featuring local talent. We also teach classes at our theater because we believe improv enriches lives. Whether you want a career in comedy or are simply looking to build valuable life skills, like listening, teamwork, thinking on your feet, and accepting mistakes. Right now, we have three outreach programs in progress. The New Memories program partnered this year with Vital Life, a Marquis and Kinsanis Foundation, to improve the quality of life of Alzheimer's patients through improv comedy. 
The facility's staff has been effusive in their feedback. They have noted uh, patient agitation has decreased, their moods and awareness has been elevated, and they've even noted physical and mental improvements. I mean, we always believed in the potential of this program, but we've been blown away by such positive, visible change in such a short period of time. The Play on Words program aims to improve literacy rates in low-income neighborhood schools. Pow partnered with Julia Collins of the Bridger Elementary School using improv exercises to teach kids writing skills. Where writing was previously kind of more personal and private and a very like solo activity, now kids are getting to work with each other and collaborate and hear each other's ideas. Then the POW teaching artists turn the kids' stories into sketches and songs to be performed by the curious comedy actors. We got to play games about how to, like, we play games like they acted out bits of it and then we said, oh, I need to work more on how it looks on the, how it looks, or I need to work with more sensory details and that helped a lot. And it was still fun. This fall, Curious Comedy will premiere at the All Jane No Dick Comedy Festival. Women are grossly underrepresented in the comedy industry. This all female comedy festival will create a place for women comedians to network, gain experience, be inspired, and be seen by audiences and industry representatives. There are a lot of reasons and a lot of ways to be a part of the Curious Comedy community. See you at the theater. That's great. <laughs> yeah. have, have you, either of you, been involved in some of that outreach, like with the Alzheimer's patients or the kids? I don't know if you saw Jed was oh, in. Jed. Yeah, he was in that one. Ninety yeah. percent of that footage. Just <laughs> <laughs> make brief cameos. Yeah. 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 Um, no, but I was involved in the, um, well, a couple of them, both the uh, the play on words, where you know we took the kids had been writing stories with a with a mentoring teacher for weeks or so, so I kind of came in, or months, and I came in at the end where we took the stories, we would literally take their handwritten stories and then we would all hang out on a Sunday and turn them into plays. And that was really fun because their stories were just, they're nuts. I mean, they're so, <laughs> like the plot, you can never get these sort of plot points in trying to figure out how to turn it into a production. And when the kids saw it, they were just thrilled because um, it was really neat for them to see that they're writing could be translated, and I remember asking afterwards. We sort of met the kids, and I said, "Did you like?" Asked one of the girls. I said, "Did you think this this actually represented what you wrote?" She goes, "Yeah, it had the right feel. It had the right." I love it. And so that's good because it's really neat. It's another form of writing, you know, for the stage, and but just it really got their imaginations flowing, and just yeah. So that was that was fantastic. I can imagine that it really encourages kids to continue yeah. writing and to explore their imaginations and to you know, to try to be creative. Yeah, yeah. it yeah. really. You see these connections be made. It's the same thing with the Alzheimer's, and the same thing <coughs> with us, why we fell in love with the theater. Just these connections are being made, and all of a sudden you see these new avenues that wow. you've never yeah. seen before, and you realize that so much more is possible. Yeah, yeah. and that's, and adding on, like with the, the Alzheimer's patients, what was so fantastic about that is because when we do these simple improv exercises with, um, with, you know, it's a varying degrees of Alzheimer's, but some, you know, very severe cases, um, we're not asking them to remember anything, you know? We're asking them, and this was called new memories, you know, but it's like, and there's been some research shown that like that's perhaps a better way to approach rehabilitation because you, we're just saying like, say yes, like literally look and someone say yes, and that, or just what am I doing? Oh, you're fishing, but it doesn't have to be, where did you live? Do, can you remember your, right, right. your, your wife's name? Or can you so remember? they're not set up for a failure. They're not getting frustrated. And so yeah. it becomes really fun. And it's just, and then you see, you see people, their humor just come through. You mentioned um, something just kind of behind the scenes while we were watching that one. Yeah. One woman who was on there, you said, oh, she's so funny. Oh, she's just so funny. And like, we had one guy who uh, once, when we were doing this, and I was like, okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? And everybody's like, oh, you know, you're brushing your teeth and, and Jim wasn't doing it. And I said, Jim, Jim, what am I doing? And he's like, huh? And I said, I'm brushing my teeth. How do you brush your teeth? And then he literally, he, he took out his dentures. <laughs> and he had, but then he started laughing because he knew he was making a good joke. Yeah. Like, and we all busted up and 
So yeah, that's great. it was really cool. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> so you have um, several shows that are coming up. I know um, Friday, the 16th of November, you have Fear Factor Canine Edition mm -hmm. by John Grady. What, what does that mean, Canine uh, Edition? What does that refer I mean, obviously that refers to dogs, but yeah. what, what, what's that all about? It's about his life with his Ber Bernese Mountain Dog. Oh, big dog. And yeah. Yeah. Uh, it takes him from New York and Chicago beyond and uh, it ends up being kind of a therapeutic story. Yeah. And even not, though you not all comedy, maybe a little right, bit. Right. Even though you laugh, you too. end up crying. Uh, yeah. Uh, it won it won awards all over Canada, and then the LA Times called it a theatrical experience that not to miss. Oh wow. Yeah. Uh, okay, that sounds that sounds like a good one. Um, also, you have the complete history of the mustache. <laughs> yeah. the Christian, is it Reimer? Yeah. Reimer. Yeah. Okay. Um, complete history of the mustache. Are these all the Canadian? Yeah. Ones? This is part of the Canadian invasion. Yeah, past, these are the past last three two. weekends have been all all groups from Canada that Stacy met when she was futzing around there this this summer. Yeah, so. she takes her show <laughs> on the road too. Oh, okay. Yeah. And she's the founder. Yeah, Stacy's yeah. the, the yeah the artistic director. Okay. We just had the uh, progressive polygamist last weekend. <laughs> yeah, the progressive poly <laughs> polygamist. I, I read about that. How did that go over? It was amazing. Was it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and now we've become good friends. Uh, one of them was going to leave tonight, and instead she'll leave next week because she wants to stay and yeah. hang out and maybe that's perform right. a little more. And, yeah. Oh, that's what curious comedy does to people. <laughs> so it feels like, it, it almost seems like it's more of a family atmosphere. It, it really like is. Like everybody really gets to know each other and they and you learn to play off each other yeah. and, and learn from each other. Yeah, and it's very, it's very like Portland that way, like or very supportive like in the comedy. You know, it's good to have a comedy scene where it doesn't feel as cutthroat or as um, competitive. And certainly we're trying to do as best we can and we want to be known as like, yeah, you know, like, the best comedy theater in town, sure. But it's at the same time, you get so much more talent and you discover people who can be really funny. I just know so many stand ups, especially, who come into our room and play there that maybe they get a more of a chance, I think, at Curious, you yeah. know, a chance to work stuff out. And then we have comedians who are well known or, you know, in, in town who do try out brand new characters or bits. And that's always really fun because they know that the crowd will be like, oh, okay, hey, you know. So it's a pretty supportive crowd yeah. no matter yeah. what. And, yeah. and people are, have the opportunity to try things out and to really um, craft their, their comedic yeah. skills, I imagine. Oh, definitely. So how long have both of you been involved in comedy? Um, I've been involved just over five years yeah. uh, at the theater since the beginning. Oh, wow. Uh, so that's four years. Wow. We opened 2008, about a month ago, four yeah. years ago. Yeah. Cool. And it's doing well, <coughs> is it not? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we see constant growth, and there's always room for more. That's great. Yeah. great. And, and before, I want to talk about the, the next um, show that you have, the Fruitcake Holiday Show. But before yeah. we talk about that, there, at, at, besides the classes and the outreach and all that, you can eat and drink there, right? I mean, there is a, is, is it a yeah. restaurant? Tell well, me what that's like there. Great. Um, yeah, I create a new special menu every week. Every week there's uh, a new menu. And, and that's on your website, isn't it? Uh -huh. You yeah. post it up mm -hmm. there what, what, what the menu is. Is yeah. that correct? So and that. Some I, of them look pretty darn good. I make sure I keep half of it vegetarian. Nice. Uh, it's all organic and local. Uh, I love it. Some from our friends at Cougar Farms. Uh -huh. uh, some that we grew in our garden this summer, uh, and I try to make it healthy and cheap. And so far, yeah, it's really so good. far, everybody loves it. Okay, yeah. great. Well, that 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 entices me there too. <laughs> and fancy cocktails that you and come up with. And fancy cocktails, yeah. nice. Different names good. for cocktails. Okay. Yeah. Well, the last um, one that you were telling me about was a fruitcake holiday show with night. Flight Aerialists, mm -hmm. and um, tell me a little bit about that. While we we have some pictures from okay. that, so I think we're going to show some of the pictures. But tell me what that what that show is all about. Yes, yeah, so that's our holiday show, and uh, we do it every year. Yep, there's some aerialists right there, and um, yeah. So <laughs> we've we've been involved with Night Flight um, for years now. I think since the beginning. Um, and the fellow on the right, he was at the last show. Um, it's Gregory is his name, but he played the Christmas Krumpus. I can't remember. It was some, was it Norwegian? It's skin? a demon that yeah. uh, hurts 
bad children <laughs> for Christmas. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So he did, but so what we'll do is we'll do, um, it's kind of a funny pairing when you think about it, but we'll do some improv based around, um, audience members will come and write Christmas stories for us, or uh, not Christmas uh, stories, like Christmas memories, like, oh, I remember when I was seven and I went downstairs and I found this present, or they're often, they're often very traumatic stories or very funny or stories. They expected this and didn't get yeah. that, or this happened. So you yeah. get a lot of like emotion and and uh, and and feel in the show. But so we'll read those stories and then we'll do some improv for about you know 15 minutes based on it. And um, well, how do the aerialists fit? They into just that? go in between. So like we'll do it and then they'll come. Then we'll sort of do a set and then they'll do they'll do um, oh, okay. they'll do some of their aerialists. So while you're act. working out the details of this. <coughs> This improv? Well, we'll do the improv. We'll just sort of read the just story, do it. do it, boom. It's fun because we get to become audience members yeah. at that time too. Oh, but it's fun. a fun, yeah. So it's a, it's kind of a if you're if you're looking for something to do this holiday season. <laughs> but it's good because it's got comedy and they're just they're amazing athletes and uh, performers. And so we just it's it's a great marriage because it gives you um it, it's like a spectacle with them and then with us we're a bunch of goofballs. So there you go, <laughs> boom, high lowbrow. <laughs> I love it. It sounds like fun. So before we run out of time, tell me, what is the most compelling reason to go to the Curious Comedy Theater? What do you think people should, why, why should they go? Every week it's going to be something brand new. And if you don't like it one week, try it the next week. Exactly. You might like it better. That's exactly yeah. right. Uh, and it'll really just open your eyes to see something, some variety that you haven't seen and you will not see again. It's kind of a different a different yeah. thing to do. It's I mean I would think it'd be a great date night thing to yeah, do. You know? Really and we saw like, you, know, really you want something is. different to do. Yeah. And the space is beautiful and um, and like Greg said, like we get every weekend we have um, you know, we have runs of shows, but then we get these groups in from Canada and then we have stand up nights and then we have these um, nights where Attack of the Flicks, where they show these films, and so I think you know if you look at our calendar, we just have such a variety. And then I think we're also you know a, a reason to come is like we have we have really high standards about what we put on. So I think um, our shows are we do great improv, we have great stand-ups, and yeah. then we sketch. get sketch, we so, sketch, and shows. the food's good, and the drinks are good. Well, and the fact that you're uh, a member of the community and that you actually are doing good things out in the community, yeah. it's not just about the comedians themselves, yeah, which yeah. is great, but it's about improving the lives of the community, and I think that's yeah. pretty that's pretty special. Yeah, yeah. yeah I got you this T-shirt. From, <laughs> you did? Oh, from I our love last it! Show. Oh, nice! Oh, <laughs> it's from our all women's comedy all festival. All no dick. I yeah. just love that. So that's now we have, awesome. Now we Thank have you. new friends from all over the continent, and great. who were all funny. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so, very much. Yeah. I will wear this proudly. And I will be there. That's my, my goal. That's I will be there <laughs> for the end of the year. In fact, I want to take my daughter down there. I think we'd have a ball down there. Yeah. And she's vegetarian, so she can you know, get in on your, Perfect. on your food there, too. So that's super. Thanks so much, guys, for being on here mm -hmm. today. Looking forward to seeing some of these shows. Um, sounds like you're doing a great job. And if people are interested in donating, volunteering, being part of it, or just attending a performance, um, then go to your website and yep. check it out. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Great. Thanks for watching this first segment of Community Hotline. Glad to have you with us. Don't go away. We'll be right back.